thinking about is how impatient you become with writers um, who feel that in some way the world owes them something. Right. And there's one particular column which in, in some way has become, uh, I mean, the... An anthem. Yes. The column is called Write Like a Motherfucker. <laughs> no, we could do the whole thing on the art of motherfuckitude. But, uh, yeah, b being a motherfucker, it's, it's a way of life, really. Um, <laughs> about res having strength rather than fragility, resilience and faith and nerve and really leaning hard into work. You know, many of the letter writers, I feel this, the same um, contradictory feeling, and that is I feel entirely sympathetic with their plight. And in many cases, I recognize m myself or sometimes an earlier version of myself really, yeah. you know, in those letters. And on the other hand, I feel like through that, th through that kind of lens of, of empathy and love, if you will, I can also tell them really how wrong they are. You know, you have to get your ass on the floor and get to work. Humility in a some humility. Ways. And you, you go through the etymology of the word humility. And I think a lot of people think being a motherfucker is being like the big dominant figure. But yeah. I actually think true motherfuckerhood has to do with being humble. You know, the unifying theme is resilience and faith. The unifying theme is being a warrior and a motherfucker. It's not fragility, it's strength. It's nerve. And if your nerve deny you, as Emily Dickinson wrote, go above your nerve. Writing is hard for every last one of us, straight white men included. Coal mining is harder. Do you think miners stand around all day talking about how hard it is to mine for coal? <laughs> they do not. They simply dig. And so I think that being a motherfucker is digging really deep. In, in, in reading, writing like a motherfucker. I, I love the way you say that. <laughs> uh, you, can I put up my, like, my voicemail? Yes. Writing like a motherfucker. Writing like <laughs> a motherfucker. It's so and formal and nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, 